What's up now? So it's looking like there is an explosive, exclusive audio interview or whatever you want, a conversation of Keefy D, people. Now, Keefy D, I heard the recording. Now, they asking him questions about who said something about the million dollars. He said he did. Diddy did. He said, I ain't I ain't bring that up. You know what I'm saying? Diddy did. Diddy. Keefy D is claiming. But he's really saying it this time. It's not like behind the bush type shit. He's saying it this time. That Diddy told him he wanted him to get rid of Tupac, bro. Right? Now. Gene Deal said in one of his interviews that Diddy allegedly says, I don't care if Pac or Biggie dies, something got to change. Some shit like that. All right? Now, I also remember when Keefy D said, if he go down for Tupac's murder, then Reggie Wright should go down for Biggs. Them three things right there, people. Them three things right there. What really stuck with me was not only the P. Diddy thing that he posted that allegedly put a million dollar hit on Pac and should. It was more so of. Diddy. Being accused on this audio. And Keefy D really, really, really saying this shit. Like, I'm, you know, hey, man. Hey, man. That and Keefy D saying, if I go down for Pac murder, Reggie Wright should go down for big murder. <clears throat> and I always said, why would he say that? Matter of fact, forget that it's Keefy D. Why would one say that? Huh? If I go down for Tupac's murder, Reggie Wright should go down for Big. So what's up with Reggie Wright and Big? I always wondered that shit. This is out Keefy D mouth, people. You know what I'm saying? Then you got Diddy with the million dollar hit, bruh. Allegedly. Like, man, come on, man. You mean to tell me you got rid of Tupac for all these years, we had to listen to Diddy and Bad Boy, Mr. Take That, Take That, and all that strange shit he was doing. You mean to tell me? We had to put closure to Tupac at 25 years old. Back in 96, I was 16. You took all them damn years from me because of Diddy? Oh, shit. All them years we missed, man, because of Diddy, bruh. That shit is insane, man. So, now this viral ass audio. Now, we've heard him hide behind, you know, go behind the bush about shit. But this is... To, it's literally saying what we need to hear. And that's Diddy brought up the million dollars to get rid of who? Tupac allegedly. I'm saying, saying it bluntly though. Like literally though. He's saying this shit. People. <coughs> Diddy got the go. He got the go. All right. Diddy got to go now, man. Um, it was already said that I made a video like last week sometime. I put that in there, that part about it was already being said that Keefy D was bringing up P. Diddy name in the trial, when the trial start. Now, Keefy D got a bond for like $750,000 and, uh, if he binds out, you know, he can be chilling at the crib, house arrest, or whatever until the trial start. Uh, 
I'm like Willie D on that part. Like, he can't even afford a lawyer. So, how he gon', you know what I'm saying? I think Willie D said this shit. <laughs> I be looking at so many people. But, that's, that, that sound right, though. If he can't even afford a, his, his own lawyer, he damn sure can't afford to buy an out. You see what I'm saying? So, his ass stuck in there. So, see, when we, every time we see him, he look worse and worse every time. He like a damn old ass werewolf, man. Nobody's on this man's side, bro. They leaving this man high and dry. All right? Nobody on this man's side. See, people knew this day was going to eventually come. It was going his past was going to catch up with his ass one day. And, and and everybody knew they wasn't gonna be around when that shit happened. And then he get to talking shit. People really trying to lay low from him. Like, man, don't uh uh what? What? See, he did all that for guilty conscience and to piss Diddy off, trying to get some money from Diddy. All this shit has backfired. Diddy ass is in deep shit. Cause that man just said on that audio. That you, Mr. Brother Love, brought up a million dollars. And that million dollars was for, you know what. See, all that shit Keefe D been saying about the million dollars and somebody had a million dollar check and that out this and that and he didn't get paid and yeah. He, he kept talking about money. All them interviews was about money for real at the end of the day. He always said something about, man, did he ain't, did he bogus, man? He didn't give me nothing, not even a pair of drawers when I went to jail, not even a pack of noodles, man. It's over, man. It's been over, though. But see, that's what I was waiting to hear. So now I'm interested to see what the court gonna say about this shit, because this shit going viral now. So... That's what I'm talking about because, see, he would hide, hide behind the bush. And I, ne and I never got a chance to read the book. But for this audio to, to surface now, and it's saying, hey, yeah, did he, did he, did he? Did he do it? You fucking right he did it. Damn. All right. And here he go. Shit, come get his ass, man. Look, look. Did he is in trouble for so much stuff, man. And you see he quiet as a church mouse. Uh-uh. You better not open your... You better not say shit. You better not say a damn thing. Your ass going down, brother. Um, Yeah, people, y'all let me know how y'all feel about this. Have y'all heard the audio? You know what I'm saying? The shit, I would play it, but... I ain't trying to get struck. You know what I'm saying? I ain't trying to do all that. Then I had to stop it and play it and stop it and play it. We ain't doing all that. So it's out here, people. The shit's viral right now. And um, I just feel like, damn, that always stuck with me in conclusion to this video. Those three things. Gene Deal on the interview, he says, hey, it was a day Diddy said he didn't care if Biggie or Tupac died. Somebody got to go. And I always thought in the back of my mind, like everybody else, we always thought huh, that Diddy had something to do with Big too. I always thought that shit allegedly. Yes, I always thought that shit. All right? And then you got, because see, the reason why I always felt like that, because how they try to describe that, uh, or try to portray that Big and Pac was enemies, enemies, that movie though, they had some misunderstandings though, don't get me wrong, and Pac was standing on that shit. But in that movie, that's what made me look at Big different in that, uh, in that Notorious movie, or was it the All, All Eyes on Me movie? Yeah, the All Eyes on Me movie when Big visited Pac, but the Muslims wasn't letting him in there because Pac wasn't trusting nobody. You know what I'm saying? Big was emotional about that shit. You see? And what Reggie Wright say? He said shit. That night, Pac got shot up or whatever. Not when he died, though. When he got shot at the studio. He said Big and Lil C's, they, they took off driving and just got high as hell. Ended up crashing the car and went, and that's when he went through the window. That's when he had the cane with that. And he met, and he had that one song when he was on the boat, uh, hip, Hypnotize. 
with all the Versace on. You see what I'm talking about? So, between Diddy and this million dollar hit, Gene Deal talking about, Diddy talking about, hey, uh, I don't care which one go, something got to change. And Keefy D killing Pac, allegedly, for this fool. Man, I just can't, I just can't believe, like, every time I hear something new about it, I, I just can't believe that Pop been gone all these years because of a sucker, man. Because of a sucker made another sucker crash out. And then you got Keefy D said, if I go down for Tupac murder, Reggie Wright should go down for Biggs. Man, make all this shit make sense, right? Message.